any any questions to anyone, of course. Yeah. But uh, if you've got any to me, then I'll move on. I have a question for you. Yeah. So this is um, obviously a pilot program. So why have yeah. you chosen MLHD to be the first place you're going to trial this? Uh, because they've done the work. Uh, and uh, it, don't underestimate um, the effort it takes uh, for uh, to, for a bureaucracy to to look at innovative ways of doing things. There's a uh, and these guys have been working on this uh, for a couple of years at least, uh, right across uh, the board. And so um, it, it was an ideal choice for the Australian government to ch choose the Murrumbidgee model because it was ready to go. And uh, and uh, and so uh, you know it's full. Uh, you know there's lots of people here today and and that aren't here today who have done a put in a lot of effort. I spoke to a doctor this morning from the Aboriginal Medical Service here in Wagga Wagga and she's been part of this process for two years. So it's, uh, it, it, that's, that's the life, yeah. And how long, I guess, will you be ass assessing this um, before you start rolling it out in other areas? Well, this trial is for four years, of, um, at, at this stage, four years? Yes, four years. Four years, and so obviously we'll be watching over that period of time and uh, certainly we'll be hoping to, to look at uh, uh, at other models. Uh, Professor Stewart, the Rural Health Commissioner, will be looking at other places around Australia where we can be doing something. It mightn't be the same as this. Uh, and so that's, the, that's, you know, what's happened here is that the folks in this room have uh, designed a model that is suitable for here. Uh, that might not necessarily mean it will work in South Australia or Western Victoria or somewhere, but uh, that's, that we will be watching to see how it all goes. All good? I'm all happy. Um, I have a question. And just on a separate issue? Or yeah, yeah, sure. Um, uh, on the